Are you guys in classes together? Yeah, dude. No, we're in two. You can count the computer lab. Oh, wait, wait. I forgot those. Did, he, did, he, did Dawson invite you to watch him? Oh, no. he, he's a Street Fighter player. Oh, so you guys guy who lands the conference? Yeah. He invites all his friends. No, dude, I didn't even bring it up in conversation. I talked to a lot of people. <laughs> Dude, Lana, 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 Lana's got a lot of stuff to talk about, but he just never talks. I say, he, you, you probably like. There's probably a lot to talk. Anyways, match. So we got uh, Captain L versus Bun Cake. Now, I, oddly enough, this is a matchup that happens in Florida a lot. Uh, Eight Bit Man versus uh, Esam, and I do know that uh, East. Esam has lost to uh, Ape Man uh, on multiple times, so the matchup is definitely doable. Uh, I liked it in uh, for Rob in Brawl. Uh, in this game, a little different. In this game, uh, I, I believe Rob has difficulty when when characters can uh, can get in. When characters get in, they stay in versus Rob. He he really needs to keep them out. But Pikachu, given uh, how quick he is, his quick attack, he he seems to have almost no problems getting in. To mitigate that, you really have to be familiar with how Pikachu moves. Know when they're going to quick attack and... But so far, this is a... Uh, this is definitely doable. It's only the first stock. Up air from Rob. Belenin usually does a, a good job of... of not getting hit by that stuff. That's why he's so consistent. He doesn't get hit by that stuff. Yeah, I didn't think an up throw would kill. Unless, I know Lana's doing a good job of waiting for those uh, air dodges. I know when I play Lana, I do try and react to it. Yeah, that's a dead Rob. Oh, taunts. He's feeling himself. He's sending a message. He's sending a message. I never, I never know what to think when, when Lana taunts me. You know, I feel like people who don't taunt, when they taunt, it means so much more. Oh, this could be a kill? That's a kill. Now, uh, I don't want to coach, I don't want to say anything, but fun fact about uh, Rob's up here, it, you can DI the, the final hit. It's tough though. Sometimes when you try and DI it, you uh, actually end up going more, straight up more. Forward throw up smash. So Rob's goal should be to do is how to escape that pressure. He does escape it beautifully and he gets a punish off of it. Up air, down smash. Yeah, Lan a lot of the struggle versus Rob is uh, the gyro. The gyro is so huge when facing Rob, or as playing as Rob. How you use the gyro, how you get around the gyro. And I, I point that out because Lennon's doing such a good job of like not making it a thing. Like You barely even know Rob has a gyro. Now we saw Bunkcake play earlier versus Len, and he was facing a similar deficit, and he managed to bring it back. Alright, up throw, can he get the thunder? He does not. I feel like that was a, a good reaction. Um, doesn't expect the second hit. Oh my god! Okay, so Rob wins the first match. What happens when you don't pay attention to the match? Oh, shots fired. Oh, oh, no, I, I am sorry. Then I'm sorry. I am sorry. Oh, don't, don't, don't show that to me. I'm scared. Okay, so we got game two. Lennon's starting off strong, but actually, uh, yeah, coming down on Lennon is tough. Coming down on both these characters are, uh, are tough. I know Lennon is uh, somewhat familiar uh, playing me. I usually do come on. 
from the, the top end. Oh my god, a quick stock. Just... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Now, Brian was down the previous match, but he also lived forever to 200. If Brian wants to win this, he's going to have to win the nickel and dimes. You know, if you're more likely to come back, if you nickel and dime it, as opposed to trying to like make something huge happen. But of course, if there's any anybody who's who's amazing at nickel and dimes, it's Captain L. You should see his wallet. Down throw. Goes for the immediate up air. Ooh, catches the landing with the down smash. The landing can be thankful that he didn't get hit by the up air. I'm actually curious, with good DI, could Pikachu live? Oh my lord, okay. I'm really glad that you're not going to Shine Spike. Why? Because I don't have to play it. Well, maybe I should go to Spine. I heard that. Do they have Smash 4? Huh? Do they have Smash 4? Yeah. I'm just, I'm just, like, messing, I'm just messing with you. I'm going to get Smash. To, uh, huh? Oh, damn long. Is that all for me? No. Oh my god. Okay, game three, Town and City. Uh, Brian hoping to take advantage of those low platforms. Now, when I played Brian, he went right back to Smashville. I don't know. Uh, taking a more patient approach. Throws away the gyro. Okay, Lennon does not shield in there, but it doesn't get any follow-ups off of it. Both these guys are playing neutral. When both players camp, or not camp, but like generally just respect each other's space, it's a... Uh, whoever gets more damage out of just like not approaching or not going... Oh my god, up smash, the roll. Excellent up smash, Lender. This is a hill to climb, but any ma no mountains unclimbable. You just have to think to yourself, you know how how often do you like SD for stock and just like come back versus like your little brother, little little baby Joe. Oh. Nickel and dime, nickel and dime. Ooh. That rod down smash, I have no idea how you're supposed to be. Oh my god! I don't know if that was one frame or you know he was just didn't grab the ledge yet. But this is last stock. The winner This is huge. Land with the stage control and percent percent lead. This is looking really good for Lion. But I mean Brian has been a man of miracles today. Just doing stuff. Four minutes left on the clock. I don't think we'll see a timeout. Oh, good spot dodge on the grab, but doesn't really get a punish off of it. So that was also equally good on Landon to not get uh, hit by that spot dodge. Oh man, this is not... Oh shit! Doesn't really get anything off in there. Tries to bust a quick attack, but doesn't really. Oh! If I was if I was Brian, I wouldn't feel. Uh, I don't know.